Hello everybody. So today we are looking at the SSL pinning. If you were following along with my video, you can continue from there. What I have done till now is we had the burp certificate installed on this uh, devices. So that device doesn't work once you restart if you were to continue right so what you want to do is to just get on the terminal and let me just use burp then let's use so let me just re adjust my size so here i have this command so that would create the proxy on localhost 3030 right so now uh adb uh reverse uh re reverse ecp so that would be three 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 so here you have the proxy setting at 8080 so we want to know the request so tcp 80 80 two now we should uh, be getting the connection so let's look at the HTTP history. Uh, then uh, let's wait for it. Uh, so we don't have connection. So if we open the Twitch. Now uh, we are getting the connection. Okay, we can log in. So here we don't have the SSL pinning. So let's open my Linux. What I want to show you is we can look through the request with birth certificate. So if there is SSL uh, pinning enabled, then we can't watch it. So what we want to do is to open our uh, Twitter. So now we call it X. So let's uh, do. So if we do login, so something isn't right. Try your request again. So we want to uh, get inside the login. So what we wanna do is to install three uh, tool. So which is Python based. So you want to install the Fedra, then Fedra tool, then objection. So how we want to do is to create the uh, virtual environment. So we can do Python make uh, a virtual environment. So that's going to be local test. So let's do enter. I have already created the virtual environment, so I want to continue from there. So let me just do Python tool I have here. So I have same file. So what you want to do is to first of all activate the virtual machine. So you want to go inside the bin folder and uh, also here I have already installed that. So what I want to do is to uh, sudo sudo cs mod uh, execute the activation so you would want to do enter and give the permission once you have done the permission right so you come inside here and dot then you be on bin and then you have to activate here you you can see our virtual environment has been created next uh, step would be to continue and uh, the installation so you could do pip install install f r i d a fedra and requirement already done then what you want to do is to install the fedra tool so we have done that also and uh, one more thing pip install uh objection so if uh there is a error so let me just continue on a new so if i do objection right so here you can see module not found if there is some error like that you want to use this command so that would reinstall the objection let's go inside so let's check the version uh, so this is the latest one 
then uh, if we were to just take the architecture so they were we need this later so we could do adv sale uh get prop uh then ro product cpu dot avi so we have x86 uh 64 that is our architecture and the fedra version now uh we need to install the fedra server where we can find the server is over here fedra slash fedra releases so here you want to do so all then let's search so we can do server so here we have the android so we want to download this so i have already downloaded it so so i need to get back then cd download then you have to do x uh that's d uh then fedra server so we need to unzip this let's rename this so we can do frid fridra to frida server so we just want to use uh, this name only fedra server only i have the same folder over here so ls um grid so f r i d a so if we were to see i have fedra server now let's push uh, this emulator device right so we want to use the command adv uh, and then uh, push fedra uh, server into uh, da data uh, so we have data then we have the local now we have successfully moved into there next one is to change the permission so we want to use adv cell so we want to change into executable so here we moved uh, this fedra server into uh, data local then inside the tint then f r i d a f c r v e r then uh let's do enter so now we have changed the file into executable adb still then uh we have uh the uh we need to run data local and uh, then uh we are on the team right then uh f r i d a s e r v e r so feed the server and use and so that would run on the background so so normally i wouldn't uh, do that because if i get any error on the feeder i would have known it uh if i have not run in background for now we are going to run this on our background so let's do enter use uh this command f r i d a fedra then uh we have the process then let's use dash u so that would show all the app running on now uh, let's clear this screen uh let's open the adb cell so before that i want to show you how we are going to bypass uh, the ssl so here we have uh, not this is not the one so we have the twitter one so we have twitter and we have this something isn't right so here uh, we have uh so here is a fedra code share so here we are using this universal android ssl pinning so here you have the command so we want to uh, find the binary 
so for that let's uh, move on the terminal so here we can do adv uh adv cell so so um, normally uh, the uh, data would be on the uh, data uh, inside and data so here we need to find uh, twitter so here you can see uh, the com dot twitter dot android so that's gonna be our binary and let's do exit and then uh, let's paste the command so uh, this would be the command and let's do enter and resuming thread uh, intercept the traffic if we do on the login so thank you guys